have been studying um, homeowners associations for about two and a half years. And I have found them to be a rather curious organization. I will be as brief and to the point to give it an overview, and then I will talk to you about what I've discovered. Homeowners associations began as businesses about 25 years ago. And about, and about 25 years ago, um, someone had the idea of having people live in communities, and these communities got the name of homeowners associations. They gave, began with a very, very nice idea. People would come and live together under one umbrella of thought that it would be a similar kind of community that the houses might be of the same style, or they may have the same kinds of lawns, or landscapes, or colors, or, or, or. It began to become a problem when one neighbor started to complain about the next neighbor. I don't like your garage door. I don't like the plant in your front lawn. I don't like that you have a weed. And so we needed someone to complain to, and so we created a homeowners association. And people would come together on a monthly basis, get together and meet about their association, and this board would hear complaints. These complaints became a problem because the homeowners association was not prepared to deal with the complaints. So someone got a very bright idea. Let's go ahead and create a management company to oversee us. And what we'll do is take our monthly dues and we'll pay them to oversee us because we're not adult enough to do this. Having done that, management companies came on board. And they started driving around the community and sending you letters telling you that your garage door was open, that there was a weed in your front lawn, that your child had left their toy bike on the front, that your gate was the wrong gate, that your blinds were up or down, and so on and so forth. And then someone got another wonderful idea. Let's take all of the people that live in this community and find them for their discrepancies, for their transgressions. We will hire a collection company. And this collection company will then send letters to you telling you that you owe them money. But what they will do is, if the fine is $100, they will multiply it by another five and charge you 500 The collection company will keep 400 the homeowners association will keep 100 And then it got worse. You see, the collection companies and the management companies needed more money. They had more boats to buy, more condominiums to buy. They needed to become wealthier. They needed to become richer. And so they started managing two and three and four and ten and fifty and a hundred communities. And these hundred communities brought in millions of dollars for a small group of people. But then it got worse. Because you see, they realized if they could put someone in the neighborhood who could, in fact, make sure that you lived and kowtowed to them, you would live in a rather nervous condition. You'd be afraid to leave your home. You'd be afraid to park on your street. You'd be afraid to leave your garage door open. You'd be afraid to have your family over. And then someone got an even better idea. If you have an issue with your homeowners association, let's make sure that you haven't got the right to complain. So we won't let you use the court system that we created in the late 1700s, with the beginning of America. We will create a separate system of law called arbitration. And you will be forced to go to an arbitrator. Who pays for the arbitrator? The homeowners association. Who did they find in favor of? The Homeowners Association. And then it got to its best level, and that's where it is now. The collection companies are now foreclosing on your homes. Oftentimes, you don't know that a lien has been levied onto your property. You find out in the mail one day. You learn that your home is being foreclosed on. You pick up the phone and say, I don't owe this money, and they say, it's too late. Yes, you do. Will you say, well, I would like to go ahead and pay what the original amount is, and they say, we can't let you do that. We'd rather foreclose on your property. 
And so it goes. We, the people, gave away our rights to people who have no interest whatsoever in the communities where we live. 